Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our fourth devotional of Praying Through the Psalter, a daily meditation on the Psalms, the prayer song book of Scripture. I pray that Praying Through the Psalter will lead us all to a deeper and more enriching and faithful prayer and worship life to our Lord. As we come to the Psalms, we come with three key interpretive beliefs. First, the Psalms are the prayers of God given to his people to be prayed and to be sung back to him. Second, the Psalms represent a rich variety of different types of prayers that together teach us how to pray more fully. And third, every Psalm points us to Jesus Christ and it's Jesus that we seek in each one. Today, we come to Psalm number four. As we do so, you will see an inscription over the prayer that we call Psalm 4. It says, To the choir master with stringed instruments, a psalm of David. So that inscription says, What is Psalm 4? What are the psalms of the Psalter? They are prayers that are also songs. And this is a psalm of David. So Psalm 4 is the second psalm of David in the Psalter. About half of the 150 psalms are attributed to King David, the other half to a variety of people. The whole Psalter, that is the 150 psalms, represent about a thousand year period of God's people collected their prayers together. That's one of the reasons why the Psalter is the best resource, the only resource I really know that I can trust to teach us, to teach you and me how to pray. It is the word of God that has been tested by time. A thousand years of prayers collected together. That's an amazing, rich resource from God himself to his people. And we are blessed to have it. As we look and begin to pray Psalm 4, we see that this is really a psalm, a, a prayer that David prays in terms of evangelism and outreach. Because David prays, oh Lord, so many people have put their love and their joy and their trust in the things of the earth. David prays in verse seven, they, they have put their joy in their grain and their wine. In other words, David laments that so many of his neighbors, even there in Israel, have, have found more pleasure and joy in the things of the earth than in the things of eternity with God. And David then prays that all people will find peace and security and true joy in God and the Lord alone. So Psalm 4 when I pray it, it causes me to stop and to pray for all the people that I know who have put more pleasure in the things of the earth than in the trusting in God. I think about the rampant materialism, consumerism, uh, the love of money is the root of all evil, our Lord says in the Gospels. We can get so caught up in the things of the body, the things of the earth, our own possessions, money, power, whatever it may be, that slowly and tragically over time, we lose real joy, real salvation, because that comes only from God, the Lord alone. So as you pray Psalm 4 today, and I, and I ask you to pray it slowly throughout the day, what is God asking you to pray what is the Holy Spirit saying for you to do, believe, say today because of Psalm 4? Today, perhaps you can begin to think about the people you know and love whose lives are more centered in the things of the earth than in the things of heaven. Pray for them. Pray for yourself that you will not be drawn into materialism and away from trusting in God alone for your joy and salvation. It certainly causes me to pray that for myself. Until next time, brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift up, look upon you and give you his grace. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you 
and may the peace of God be upon you. His salvation, his joy in him alone, now and forever. God bless you.